she would never break her trust. She'd never hurt her. Oh no. What's wrong with me? Why do I keep remembering all those moments between us? But just because of her attitude, will you forget every other thing that they have done? Can you really sever all ties with them so easily? No, my dear. Right now they need us with them. And we need to go and support them. Karan took me to his hotel room. As I told you before, Karan said that he was planning on marrying me and that he loved me. So I didn't refuse him. And I allowed him to get close. But I didn't expect what happened. But then he started getting too intimate with me and I tried to stop him more than once, but he didn't listen to me. Don't you know how much I love and respect Karan and Rishab? If anyone ever tries to create a problem for either of them, then I will not spare that person's life. And that includes you, Sherlin. So answer me, Sherlin. And don't try to tell me that you didn't hug that foolish girl. I saw it with my own two eyes. You were hugging that despicable woman. Thank you, Mother. If you didn't encourage me to testify, then I wouldn't have mustered the courage to do it by myself, Mother. So thank you. My dear. Mrs. Aurora. Can I get some more water? What's wrong? It's nothing. Something did happen. You were thinking something. I will expose you and Prithvi and all of your wicked deeds in front of the Luthras. I will reveal all of your plans to ruin them as well as your secret relationship. I will tell them everything. And you better believe that I'm going to tell them that you are pregnant with Prithvi's child too. As for your plan behind why you are marrying Rishab, I will tell them that too. I'll tell them why your despicable boyfriend is getting married to Preeta. I will tell them everything that I can. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? What did I do? What did you do? You committed a murder. As soon as Rishab Luthra found out the truth about me, that I framed you in a fake case, he decided to kill my beloved boyfriend, Ritvik. Enough! Inspector. I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Ritvik. Mr. Rishab Luthra. No. Please don't arrest Rishab! No, Inspector! Inspector, stop! Inspector, he's my son! Don't take him away! Inspector, he's my life! I can't live without him! Please, Inspector, he's not guilty! Please don't take him away Rocky. from me! He's innocent, Inspector! Please Rocky, don't take him away! Pull yourself together, Rocky. Please, calm down. <laughs> I am not only going to prove my innocence and walk out free. I am going to make sure that the true murderer is hunted down and brought to justice. And I will do whatever it takes to make sure that that happens, because he deserves to pay for what he has done. I will find that mastermind, and I will throw him behind bars. This is a promise to myself. I promise myself I will make sure that Ritvik gets justice, and I won't rest until that happens, I promise you. I promise that. I am not going anywhere. Everything is going to be all right. <coughs> I will soon come back, okay? Come on, stay strong, stay strong, Karan. I actually even told your Sherlin baby that you are a snake in the grass and that it was only a matter of time before you dragged us in the mud. You realize my poor Ritvik lost his life trying to help you execute your plan. You're still looking for a solution to get him out. You are trying. How can you be unlucky? You're the luckiest girl that I know. But I'll make sure that Rishab's dreams are shattered in the same way that he shattered my dreams. He will rot in jail forever. Carry on, carry on. For the first time, 
Someone else is after my enemy's blood. This is great. This will help my plan. Be honest with me and tell me if you're the one who hired Bella to kill Ritvik. You manipulated me into filing a false complaint against Karan by saying he assaulted me. Fine, I'll tell you your mistake. It was getting Manisha involved in our plan at all. I warned you so many times. I told you not to get Manisha involved in our plan because she is a mad woman and she is deceitful, but you would not listen to me. Stop trying to take advantage of me. Go away from here. Manisha, listen to me. I Manisha? don't want to talk to you Manisha? anymore, so just get Manisha? lost. Manisha, listen, please try and understand. I don't please. want to listen to you. Manisha! Just that through your head. Get out of here. Manisha! Manisha! Get out! Manisha! Manisha! Listen to me! This girl is not willing to listen to me. What should I do? We are dead. Why have you called the media here? What is your announcement? Look, Haran, are you about to say what I think you are? If that is what you're going to say, then there's really no need for that. We are marrying each other in five days from now. In fact, I would like to invite all of you. Please be there. Be our guests. We would love that. I feel really sad and I feel very hurt that you are going to marry Manisha. I really don't like it, Karan. Don't do this, Karan. Please just... It doesn't matter how hard you try, Karan Lothra. I'll make sure that we get married. I'm going to become the daughter-in-law and get revenge for you killing Ritvik. Do you want to stay with me forever? Then you'll have to get rid of Prithvi as well. I have always been suspicious of Prithvi Malotra. I know he is hiding something from us. He is not who he appears to be. But I am going to expose the truth about him. I am very close to finding out what he is hiding from everyone, and I will not rest until I have found all the evidence I need to prove to everyone that he is a liar. Peter, we had a deal, didn't we, Karan? That if I got Rishab out of jail, you would get married to me, and now that I have done my part, why are you doing this to me now? You want to marry me, right? Well, I'll get married to you right here and right now at this altar. It's her. She is the one who contracted me to kill her boyfriend. She told me that Ritvik was doing the wrong thing. She said that he was forcing her to do something that she did not want to do. Ritvik asked her to frame Karan Luthra for physically assaulting her at the hotel that night. Arrest this woman. Take He's her to the station. To you. It's not true. Please, Manisha. Me. I haven't done anything wrong. You have to believe me. Please let go of me. And today you even vomited at the Luthra house, Shirley. You were in a real terrible condition. We had to rush out without informing anyone to get you to the hospital. Do you know what this means? What it means is that it's a sign of danger. So you are going to have to get married to that cunning businessman, Richard Luther, as soon as possible. You should be happy. Whether I listen to you or Peter, the matter is being resolved and I'm postponing the wedding, aren't No, I? Rishab, I am your brother and you should be listening to me, not to Peter. Okay, fine, then I will listen to you because you are my little brother. I will always do as you say. Oh, Peter, Rory, your smile. Your earring. I actually feel like kissing you right now. Um, what I mean to say is that... Is that... I feel like kissing your earrings. Prithvi, what are you going to do? Me? You. Me? What will I do? I'll tell you. Rishab? Rishab?
Everybody else here has already made up their minds and decided that I am guilty in this situation without asking me. Rishab, so that means that you are also blaming my daughter for what happened. You want to say that she's lying and she did all of this on purpose? Possibly. How dare you, Rishab? Rishab is never going to marry Shirley. And not just Rishab, there is no man out there who would want to get married to her if they find out she's carrying my child. So now, you can decide who you want your daughter to marry. Rishab Luthra or Prithvi Malhotra. Sherlin is not a good woman. I know that she is not what she pretends to be. And this time, she is going to reveal her true colors to me. I'm going to make her confess the truth to me. I know what to do. I didn't do any of this by myself. My boyfriend helped. We worked together. We both came up with the plan together. I admit it. I admit everything, everything that you managed to figure out about me is 100% true. Why did she openly admit to everything? Fear. Fear. She's scared. And I have a feeling that she's trying to scare you so that you will back off. If you overcome it, then you can defeat her. It's as simple as that. What took you so long, baby? Baby, just start the car quick. I'm not going to let Preeta get married to Prithvi, nor Sherlin to Rishab. I'm going to catch these lovers red-handed tonight. And I will make sure that they don't get married to Preeta and Rishab. I'm not going to let Rishab marry Sherlin no matter what it takes. And together with what I'm also going to prove, that Sherlin was not with Prithvi that day. My sweet, caring, lovable and loyal Preeta. She has so much faith in her fiancé. She is going to work so hard to prove my innocence. That's how much she trusts me. But in the end, she's going to suffer in the end. She will be hurt when she finds out the truth about Sholin and me. Why do I feel this way whenever I think of Prithvi and Preeta together? Why does it bother me so much? Seeing them together really should not affect me like this. But it does. What can I do about it? Whether I like her or not, she is going to marry him, and that's the truth. Preeta promised me that she would come and visit me again this evening, but then you, you just had to call me up like you always do, and because of you, I had to get the doctor to let me leave the hospital to come here. Why did you have to do this? What is the matter with you? Please tell me. I am not going to attend that party. I am not going to attend any of the wedding parties. Not until you have finally gotten married to me. How can you get married to me, baby? You are getting married to the nosy businessman. You. I want to marry you. You are done for, Prithvi. You cannot get away from me this time. You know what, baby? I am so excited. We'll be man and wife in just two hours from now. We are finally getting married. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this day. And now look, the big day is finally here. Everything is happening just as it should be. We just spoke about it yesterday, and now we're getting married today. I am so happy. I'm coming to attend your wedding, Sherlin. Brace yourself. If you refuse to marry her, then I will take my own life, Mom, Rishab. please. Mom. I have... I have given Sherlin my word, Rishab. I promised Sanjana that the two of you would get married. I have already accepted Sherlin as my daughter-in-law. If you decide to call off the wedding, it will mean that I clearly mean absolutely nothing to you. Mom. You do Mom. not care about me or my feelings at all. Rishab, tell me. Are you going to marry her or not? Sherlin, my dear, from now on, this room does not only belong to Rishab, it belongs to you too. From now on, you have as much right to this room as your husband, and I'm so happy that you are finally part of this family. You could not do the one thing that I asked you to do, and now you're assuring me it's fine. If Peter goes to the cops, you're going to be in trouble as well. I have to do everything on my own. I cannot trust you to take care of anything. <laughs> 